I'm having a little bit of an aha moment right now because I realize in that moment when things, you know, weren't exactly as we think they're supposed to be in society, there's a tendency to run away from it or mm -hmm. to find the fault within. And I feel like what you and I are sort of promoting is hook in to that family and choose to be together, choose to stay together. I just wanna say, can we go back and say, preach, Drew. When you said hook in, that is the mantra that everyone needs to take away right now. Please welcome Karamo Brown. is taking us that I know we're I'm dancing like, with it <laughs> um Karamo I'm so happy to be with you I've missed you I've been thinking about us and our whole revelation and mm -hmm. saying that both of us latched on to like little magnets Yes, we did. It was magical. I love when those things happen where you say something and we both feel the power within the statement and how it could help not only ourselves but others. It, it was a good moment. Sometimes metaphors feel like floating balloons to me and hooking <laughs> in feels the exact opposite. Yeah, agreed. Because sometimes you get these statements or these mantras that it's like, okay, I don't know how to tangibly make that work for my life. And this one, it's like, oh, the, first of all, like you just said, the act of hooking into something, you know that you're grabbing it, you're attaining it, but then also you understand how that could work mentally as much as it works physically. So it is a very powerful mantra. I think it gives me like an anchor metaphor of groundingness, mm -hmm. but it also yes. makes me feel like I'm gonna have to do the work at the same yes. time. Yes, and that work is so key because without, with any mantra or anything you're using for your life, if you're not putting the work in with it, then you're not able to hook into what you're really going after. And that's why this term, hooking in, I think is gonna be so powerful. This is, this is the 2021 theme. This is what it is. Everyone listen, hook in because you deserve life. You deserve all these things. And this is step one. All right, let's get into it, Karamo. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's take a look at Jacqueline. Roll the tape, please. Hi Drew, hi Karamo. My name's Jacqueline and I'm a single mom. I've been in a committed relationship for several years now. And up until this point, my partner and I have always lived separately. So it's been several years now and ultimately my partner and I have decided to move in together. We talked about it as a couple and then we discussed it with my son and everybody's excited and on board. So that will be happening in the next few months. However, there's a few issues that I'm concerned about. One of which is that I have a teenage boy, which I know every parent of a teenager understands. It comes with its own huge set of challenges that I feel like I'm navigating through every day. One of the things I'm concerned about is that my partner is very kind and very passive. We love his energy when he comes to our house, but he has up until this point really just been more of a friend to my son. And I really am going to need him to step up into more of that fatherly role or disciplinary role and having my back so that we are more of a unified front together to create some healthy boundaries for my son. So Paramo and Drew, I would really appreciate your help in navigating this new family dynamic and showing me any ways that we can really hook him. Jacqueline, please come on the show. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you today? Hi. Hi. I have some questions right out of the gate, if I may yeah. ask. What are your biggest concerns about bringing John and Tristan into the same house? Up until now, John has always been just this great friend to Tristan, and that's kind of been his role. I would like for that role to develop a little bit into more of um, a co-parent and a, maybe even authority figure, you know, something where he had, John has a little bit more um, ownership of the co-parenting. Jacqueline, first of all, I wanna let you know, I understand exactly what you're going through. I have teenage, I had teenage boys, they're now in their 20s, but when I was introducing them to my partner and moving my partner in, it was one of these things of like, okay, what is about to go on here? How are we gonna make this a family unit? What are we gonna do? And I think thinking about this theme of hooking in, 
The first thing I want you to ask yourself is, do you believe John can hook into the idea that he is enough? And can you hook into the idea that he's enough? Um, the short answer is yes. I think that right. maybe I need to kind of give him that permission. You're the person who has to give that permission. Once you give that permission, the three of you have to sit down and establish clear boundaries. And I'm talking about you got to get specific. Is John going to be giving money? Is John going to be able to set curfews? Is John going to be the one to say when to get in the shower, when to get up for school? Is John going to be able to say you can go to the park? What permission and boundaries does John have? But also, don't put it all on John. You have to now look at your son and say, son, with you and the boundaries, what, what permission does he have of what to say to John? How should he be referring to John in this new step? How he should, should he be interacting with you? So when John's talking to you, before your son only had mom, so he could run up to mom and get mom's attention, there's now another adult here. So how does he need to learn in that moment of like, mom and dad, mom and partner, not to put you, you know, uh, rush you, but mom and partner are speaking, you need to now understand how to approach this. There's a lot about giving permission and clear boundaries that has to happen here so that you can have the successful relationship you want.